Hey guys, this is Cosmic Terror, and today I'm going to be reviewing the movie called Frankenstein 1931, which is a classic horror movie, which I really enjoy watching. So anyways, I'm going to start off with the plot. So the plot is basically about the village and where a young scientist named Henry Frankenstein and his assistant, Rich Hunchback, was out there gathering body parts in order to bring forth a man-made monster. Well, not technically a monster, but they just want to bring back to life by gathering each and every different body parts. So when they discover that their brain that they brought turns out to be useless because of the neck being strained, so they instead go into a school where they can steal a living brain. So after that, Fritz end up trying to get the normal brain, but however, he dropped it like an idiot, and instead he took a brain that was actually a criminal. So after that, Henry Frankenstein was going to attempt to bring back someone from the dead, but however, he was interrupted by a few of his friends. One of them was Elizabeth, the other one was a dirt. Moritz, and last but not least was Dr. Walton, which then they all wanted to ask Henry to stop bringing forth the monsters to life. But however, Henry Frankenstein still wanted to continue on his work in order to prove that his science can bring people back to life, at which he succeeded. And by the way that they restrained Henry Frankenstein, and of course the monster itself started rising up from the dead, until later on, they even educate the monster to sit down and behave. That is until Fritz uses the fire to scare off the monster, and of course the monster didn't like so they restrain the monster, lock him in the dungeon, inside of the Frankenstein castle. So then later on, Fritz still torments the monster, and then the monster itself kills Fritz. And then not only that, it also was stopped by Henry Frankenstein and Dr. Waldman, who then restrained the monster. So then later on, the monster was then restrained and was put to sleep. And that is until the monster escapes and kills Dr. Wallman. And then after that, the monster then seeks out to walk around while both Henry Frankenstein and Elizabeth were about to get married. That is until the news about the monster killing a little girl and also the monster started terrorizing Elizabeth. So in which then the entire town people gather around to hunt down this monster which were being split into three groups. Henry Frankenstein leads one of the groups into going up into the mountain until later on Henry was separated from his group but was taken by the monster into the windmill until suddenly the monster itself decided to take Henry up into the windmill until the townspeople follow the monster and they decided to break into the windmill's door. However, the windmill's door was locked down until the monster throws Henry Frankenstein down the floor and where the townspeople takes Henry Frankenstein back into the town and while the townspeople burn down the windmill along with the Frankenstein monster. So then later on, at the end of this film, is Henry Frankenstein w wakes up to see his father, his future wife Elizabeth, and everybody else. So that is basically the end of the plot. So now I'm done talking about the plot. Now I'm going to talk about the story. Well, the story is good. The story was really, really good. And the writing, of course, was really great. Now I want to talk about the scenes that I like and dislike. Well, there is one scene I kind of didn't like. Why didn't Henry Frankenstein himself check the brain before he put the brain inside the monster's body, not knowing that the brain actually belongs to the criminal? 
which obviously that head we should have checked it, as I said. But anyways, yeah, there is actually a scene that I do like, is when the Frankenstein monster throws in the flower, and where he was playing with a little girl named Maria, and Maria herself throws a flower after when both the monsters and Maria realize that they were out of flowers, so the monster itself decides to throw her into the lake, which was funny, by the way. So now that I'm done talking about the stories and the scenes that I like, now I'm going to talk about my overall thought. Overall, this movie is really good. Not really that scary, but it is really good. So I'm going to give this movie rating 5 out of 5 for being a good movie. So anyways, this is Cosmic Terror. Until next time, bye.